Hi, I'm Mark Frazier. Exploring wildlife right in our own backyard is the best way to learn to appreciate them and therefore protect them. You're invited to join me on the exciting wildlife adventures. Welcome to Nature Works. The autumn is a magical time of year. The forest in the North Country is simply beautiful. With ample amounts of water, I knew this particular spot in the forest would be loaded with wildlife, so I started to explore. The autumn colors in the North Country are just incredible. I mean, just look at this. People travel hundreds, sometimes thousands of miles just to come to the North Country so they can see this right here. I call this eye candy, the incredible contrast of the autumn. But you know it also brings some very tough weather. After the sun sets, that same wind provides excellent camouflage for predators. This raccoon doesn't know it because he can't smell the koi wolf that's stalking him along the tree line. Just incredible. As sunlight peeks through into our watering hole, a beautiful young deer appears. You can actually still see the spots, indicating that he's a fawn, but also helping with camouflage. The absolute freedom of wildlife is something that I've always greatly admired. Just imagine the incredible world that this little deer lives in. Deer are certainly creatures of habit. That's why you can find deer trails in the forest. They follow along the same path this way they know their home territory very well. They know where the food is, and like this deer is showing, they know where the water is too. Being a young deer late in the season means it's vitally important to find the nutrients as quickly as possible and get ready for winter. In the foothills in the higher country, it is very chilly and you know that snow's coming very soon. But I wanted to get out here and give you a quick view of just how beautiful it Check is. Check this out. This is the woolly bear caterpillar. Can you see that? Now here is living proof that wonderful things come in tiny packages. I simply love the woolly bears and they're an absolute sign of autumn. Awesome. I'm gonna let them go. Well, there's woolly bear and then there's black bear and the black bear are a lot bigger. They fatten up in the autumn because in the winter time they need to hibernate. Now there's other large mammals that stay active all year like the amazing koi wolf, the hybrid between coyote and wolf. This is an incredible animal. This particular koi wolf decided to mark the territory right in front of the camera. Not sure what he was trying to tell me. <laughs> Their sense of smell is so acute, they can identify whether they know the other koi wolves in the area, whether they're male or female, family or not family. Just imagine, it's like a language. Now turkeys are certainly an iconic image of the autumn time, and these are beautiful toms walking along. This time of the year, they're taking advantage of the grain that you can find, like on tall grass when you see the seeds on the tip. That gives them nutrients that they need, and they can just kind of pull it off with their beaks, as you see here. Both hens and the toms appear to walk together in groups. It helps to have as many eyes as possible to watch out for predators. Unless you're a little tiny bird like this yellow rumped warbler, it's also taking advantage of the different wildflowers and seeds that it can find this time of year. Mammals and birds aren't the only incredible things you can find. Have a look at these beautiful shelf mushrooms. They're just incredible. It looks like a magic hidden world. Now some species are large and easy to find, but others are very well hidden.
closer look reveals this gorgeous little mushroom. Now it was a little bit cloudy when I filmed this, so it's hard to see the real color here, but there's a beautiful purple outer band on this galactic mushroom, just incredible, a very large species. It's a strange texture and color on the leaf litter. Now look at this brilliant green of this carpet moss along this moist rock, just incredible. Now the contrast of the golds and the browns and the autumn colors and suddenly, bam, you get this amazing green just popping out at you. It's like a dream come true for any artist. Now not many species of birds have the ability to hang upside down like the white-breasted nuthatch does but it certainly has the ability as you see here. This way it can kind of get into these nooks and crannies in the bark and find its food. It doesn't take long to see the first snowflakes of the season. Simply beautiful against the incredible colors of the autumn leaves. The light of the sun peeking through the trees stops me in my tracks. The leaves along the forest floor can tell a great story. Now, late in the season, it's hard to know what kind of trees are in the forest, especially after the leaves fall, but I can grab a handful of these and pick out the different sugar maples and the black cherries and the poplar and birch, not to mention just simply appreciate what we're looking at here. I mean, look, the yellow, green, red, and brown all in the same shot like that. Now, in a deciduous forest, it's like a system. These leaves actually return nutrients back to the soil and under the leaf litter where it's moist is a home to all sorts of species. So there's a lot more than beauty when you look at these amazing autumn leaves. We've certainly been finding some amazing things. Now let's get back to our watering hole. There's plenty of signs of wildlife and we'll see if the cameras have revealed any other species. Look, our buddy the raccoon has returned, and you know he's looking really healthy, nice and plump. Raccoons are very similar to black bear in that they're omnivores. That means they can take advantage of many different food sources. They're fun to watch, and they're actually very intelligent, a very impressive species. For all its jaw-dropping beauty, the autumn is brief. It represents a time of change, another cycle in the circle of life. I'll see you next time. The incredible thing about wildlife is the closer you look, the more you find. Thank you so much for joining me on this nature walk. I'm Mark Frazier and I'll see you again very soon.